Hi there. I was just struggling with some of the apps that I use on the mobile. Lots and lots of apps that we have to use daily in our lives. They can be social apps, they can be entertainment apps and so on. But all these apps do make your phone a little slow or take a lot of storage space on your phone. Is there any way in which I can put as many as apps I want or use as many as apps I want without compromising on my phone storage space? Well, there is a way. There are some apps which are all-in-one kind of apps in which they give you facility to use as many as apps without installing them on your phone. Let's get started. Hi friends, today we are going to talk about three apps here. The first one which is that I'm going to talk about is Venus Browser. To install that, once we enter Play Store, just type in Venus. That now the first icon that is coming here with the blue earth symbol that is the Venus Browser. So I click that. In my case, it's already installed. You go ahead and install this app. If I click on Venus Browser, once you open it, you'll get this browser kind of window where you can simply enter whatever URL you want to browse but that's not the purpose we are using here. You do get some apps here, Facebook, Flipkart, Amazon, Google, then you have some other apps and you have your news. So all these are there. Now the fun part is on the left side. So I slide to left and now we are in the apps tab. Here is all the fun part. See the first tab is for shopping apps, then you have games app, then you have your TV movie that is entertainment apps. Then you have your music apps that have cabs, travel, food, sports, banking, wallet, social, news, kids, general, medical and utility. Now I have used a lot of apps. I have uninstalled all these apps on my mobile and I'm using them directly from this all-in-one app kind of app that we have here, Venus Browser. So if I go here, shopping one, and if I want to go to Amazon, I can directly click here. I've already signed in here. So I don't need to sign it again and it opens Amazon with my account and then I can go ahead and browse and see what I want to see or shop what I want to shop. So I just press back here. So if I open games and not much games to play, so I would not recommend to go for that. But you do have your Hotstar, Boot, Sony Live and your Z5 and all the other channels that you like to see on your mobile. So that is all there. For music, you have Hangama, Eros Music and Wink Music. That is again the Airtel app for music. So you can use that for cabs. I have used this successfully Ola, Uber app. Not tried the others, but they will work as well. Some of the apps may or may not work. So you need to try them on your phone, whether they are working or not. In my case, Instagram app does not work. Whenever I click on Instagram, I always get this symbol and then I will get an error message. So that did not work for me, but then you should go ahead and give it a try. Maybe it works for you. See, in my case, it's saying web page is not available. If I go to Facebook, it will work. So I've already logged into my account. So I don't clear the history for this because I, I'm using only the app. So don't go ahead and clear the history. Otherwise, you need to re-log in in all places again and again. So this is my Facebook account. Then you have Twitter similarly. So if I click on Twitter, it will go ahead and open my Twitter account. It works absolutely like you have your different apps in place, but the best part is that none of the apps are installed accessing all the apps through this browser itself. So if I want to click on my Paytm account, I can do that. I already logged into it. So I'm using it, but guys, please be very careful because any app that you are entering information, suppose it's Paytm or any other electronic wallet information that is your risk. I have taken my risk and I'm using it, but you have to take your own risk for that. So I'm not responsible for it, but for me, there has been no issues. So I'm using it and I don't have a separate Paytm app installed. And again, for the banking apps, you do have these separate apps, but I would recommend you use the main app that is there from the bank itself. You have some kids apps here, so you can use them. And for travel, you can also use some apps which are given. And if I look at medical apps, I'm using Practo and 1MG mostly. So both of them work. There is no problem with them. So it might ask you time and again, allow location access. Just allow that. Don't worry about anything. You can allow it. And again, you have some utility apps like your Urban Clap, OLX and Quicker and, and the rest. So you can 
go ahead and try those if you want an email app you can use a gmail and you have some others like housing and wikipedia and all those apps so you can use that as well so all in all i found this a pretty good replacement for all the apps that were installed and hogging a lot of phone storage and making my phone slower so i just removed those apps mostly which i don't want and i can live with it on the browser that i'm using but one thing you should keep in mind is that you will not receive any notification for any of the apps that you're using here so if you have facebook and you are used to notifications then you need to enable text notification or mail for that app if you want those notification because this app will not tell you whether you have received any new message or you have received any new notification on facebook or twitter or any other social app so for that you need a real app to work so that is one drawback which i found here the other thing is that sometimes if you open an app and you press back you don't go here you just exit the app itself so for that i have a solution suppose i open a medical app just to show you so if i am in this app and i want to go to the main browser that is venus browser and open a new app so i'll just go ahead and click on mouse window and then i'll just cross out the app the one i was using and go back to my venus browser window besides that you have other stuff like if i go to services tab you have your music and video and games and news and all so you can go ahead and you can see the settings and figure out if you need to change something in the settings so you can do that but if you enable notifications you will only get some news notification from this app and that's it nothing there will be no app notification as such besides that if i look at the other two options that we have so i've already installed two apps one is app browser that again the all in one app kind of thing then the other one is in one i personally like in one better than the app browser because the app browser has a very confusing kind of interface so that the interface was not for me i can just sign in this is the interface that we get with app browser so as you can see it's little overwhelming for me not very clear as such press on explore here and we can see we have the apps here so then you have your news so you get all these apps so it does offer a lot of variety in terms of apps that you can use basically app browser is all in one app and you may give it a try and see for yourself and if i look at in one in one is the one which has the most polished interface that i found and so it gave me an option to log in with true caller or enter the credentials so now if i look at all the apps that we have here again we have my apps which are already installed then you can add more apps if you want shopper tap shop these are all shopping comparison apps so then you have flipkart then you have this cabs and then you have your flights they do offer some cashback incentives on certain apps that you are using from their app so that is something which is good for users who frequently go ahead and shop or buy stuff then you have one news and you have fashion and entertainment so this app has a much better interface than all the three that i found the simplest interface was venus browser of course i have been using that for quite some time but this is also something which came close again they have i would suggest you try out all the three now my favorites were venus browser and in one but you might find that app browser is a better choice or you might have a different app altogether that you are using so i would suggest you go ahead and try out some more apps and do leave your findings 